It is STEM week in Pittsburgh. It's time to focus on science, technology, engineering, and math, culminating in STEM Fest this Saturday, free for all kids and families. A local elementary school in our area is already focused on STEM using environmental science. Christine Sorensen is here to show us in today's Kidsburg story. Hi, Christine. Hey, Susan. Well, just yesterday, Wexford Elementary School was honored in Washington, D.C. as one of only 46 schools around the country to win the Green Ribbon Award from the U.S. Department of Education. Teaching kids about the environment is a great way to connect kids with science, especially younger kids, because it's something tangible they can see, touch, and interact with every day. Tomatoes, squash, zucchini, lettuce, and tomatoes. Garden in the courtyard of Wexford Elementary is overflowing with vegetables, all planted, tended to, and picked by the students with the help of their teachers and parent volunteers. I like like digging and like planting tomatoes and squash and stuff. Michelle Ressler, mom of second grader Nija, says many kids don't know where their food comes from other than the grocery store. So opportunity to come out here for a couple minutes to see really how food grows. Does it grow on a vine? Does it grow in the ground? It's really an amazing opportunity for these kids. In addition to learning about how plants grow, the students also learn about composting. After lunch, the kids collect leftover food and scraps from all the kids in the cafeteria. Then they bring it to the composter in their garden and chop it up. They're even learning how worms help the garden. The worms eat the old, help stuff grow. They love it. The kids just love to um, collect all of the trash, um, what we call worm food, because we've been teaching them about worm composting, so that's something big we're going to start this year is the vermicomposting, which is composting with worms. It's a big job for these little kids, collecting the food themselves instead of adults doing it. And then this way here, they get a responsibility to do it, you know what I mean, rather than somebody else do it for them. This garden may be small, but the bounty is huge. They've already produced 44 squash, 51 pounds of tomatoes, and 76 gallons of lettuce. All this produce is donated to area food banks, teaching kids not only about science, but about service. The kids are the future, so we need to kind of expose them to all of these different things so they can take care of our planet and um, each other. And Mount Lebanon High School was also one of the 46 schools around the country to win the Green Ribbon Award, and we featured that school last week. You can learn lots of ways to get your kids excited about science on Kidsburg's website and at STEM Fest, which is happening this Saturday at the Mall at Robinson. The free event features hands-on activities for kids of all ages, as well as information for teenagers seeking a career in STEM. And KDKA is proud to host STEM Fest from 10 to 5 on Saturday. That food looks really good. I know. No, doesn't it? Do they get to then eat it, bring it inside and eat it? Well, you would hope so, but you know, with food allergies and food policies, they can't do it at the school right now. But they're hoping the kids will take this idea home, you know, grow things at home, mm -hmm. maybe even try composting at home. I know at my kids' school, they were growing things in the classroom. My son brought home seeds. We grew peas. We tried them. They were delicious. Oh, good. And, you know, it does get kids excited when they can see what actually happens, you know, in their textbooks happening in right. real life. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Thanks.